And a few days later, after completing all the formalities, I took my luggage and left my parents in law's house. I told my mother in law that I was leaving today. I bowed to her as a gesture of a grown up. Then my mother in law grinned at me again. She said, You've been a lousy wife and a lousy mother from the beginning to the end. And then she told me that I'm the worst mother for leaving my kids. I don't know how much she can make fun of me. My daughter and son laughed when they heard what my mother in law said. My name is Maria, a 42 year old housewife. I live with my husband Ken, my son Josh, and my daughter Amy. The children have grown up well, and my husband works hard, so we live peacefully without any particular problems. However, things have changed recently. My father in law passed away due to illness, and my mother in law moved in with us. My husband, who is the only son, felt sorry for his mother being all alone and brought her to our house without consulting us. I had always thought that my husband was too much of a mummy's boy, but I didn't think he would decide for her to move in with us by himself. He told us that he had already sold his parents in law's house. Are you asking me to abandon my mother who has nowhere to go? My husband said to me with such an attitude, and I had to give in. After that, honestly, it was hell. My mother in law had not liked me for a long time, so she would pick on me at every opportunity. Maria, what is this seasoning? Oh, I'm sorry, I'll be careful. And I don't like greasy food. Well, but we have children who are growing up fast, and my husband likes fried food too. Then, please make a separate meal for me. I hope you don't mean to make me eat unhealthy food so I die early. No, it's not like that, but it would cost more money and it's a bit of a hassle. That's where your skills come in. Ken earns enough money, so why don't you manage the finance? And the hassle? You are so spoiled. When I was young, I took care of the house chores by myself, no matter how hard it was. What a pity that my grandchildren have to live in a house run by such a lazy mother. I feel sorry for them. I thought. If you have so much to say, why don't you do it? But I held back. Because if I tried to talk back even a little, my husband would get mad at me a hundred times over. When I first moved in with my mother in law, she was so much of a wife beater that I objected to her saying, If you're so opinionated, why don't you do it yourself? Then my mother in law told my husband, And he got angry and said to me, How dare you talk to her like that when I'm the one supporting you? I thought about getting a divorce, but as a housewife, I wouldn't be able to take care of the children. They are my treasures, and I don't want them taken away from me. So I decided to endure the wife beating without objection. But instead of just putting up with it, I started to prepare for divorce little by little. I applied for jobs at various companies under the watchful eye of my mother in law, who was home all day long. Only one company offered me a part time position. Thanks to my previous experience as a bank clerk, I was able to get a clerical job at a bank. It was my first corporate job in a long time, and it was a lot of fun. Of course, there's a lot of responsibility, and stress came with it. Still, it was more peaceful than seeing my mother in law at home all the time. But my mother in law didn't like the fact that I was working. Why work when Ken earns enough salary? Maybe she's out scavenging for men. What kind of thought process is that? 
a total idiot. And it's not that my husband doesn't make a lot of money, but since his mother in law started living with us, it has added to our expenses. So we're not in a situation where we can afford everything. However, my mother in law has told me to give her an allowance from now on so that I wouldn't spend it on men. When I refused and said it was not possible, she again told my husband. When my husband came home from work that night, he yelled at me as he had done before. Are you having an affair? Huh? I'm not. That's what my mother said. She said you're using your part time salary to pay for men. I'm not doing that. Why do you believe your mother's lies? Shut up. Then give her allowance to prove you're innocent. Oh no. Then my mother in law came in with a smirk on her face. $500 a month. That much? That's what my mother says, so give it to her. In the end, I was defeated by the momentum of the two of them. I had to give most of the money I earned from my part time job to my mother in law as an allowance. To make matters worse, my mother in law told the children, Your mother is a horrible adulterer, with a smirk on her face. Even junior high school kids know what that means. And to tell them a lie like that is just awful. I thought it was not fair at all, and it was ruining me completely. And then something happened to make the situation worse. I found out that my husband was having an affair. Despite suspecting me of my infidelity, he was the one having an affair. This put me over the edge. And they say that when you reach your limits, you just blow it all out of the water. I didn't want to spend even one second with these jerks, so I immediately went to get the divorce papers. I don't want to stay in this house after you had an affair. And I confronted my husband with the divorce papers. He laughed at me and said, Well, I don't want an old woman like you in my house. I'm sure he intends to be with his adulterous partner after the divorce. He agreed to pay alimony and share the property without any objection. When the children were asked what they wanted to do, they both said they were going to stay in the house. My mother in law grinned at me and said, I knew you liked your father better than this woman. A few days later, after completing all the formalities, I took my luggage and left my parents' house. I told my mother in law in the living room that I would be leaving today and bowed to her as a gesture of a grown up. Then my mother in law grinned at me again and sarcastically said, You've been a lousy wife and a lousy mother from the beginning to the end. Then she said, You're such a terrible mother to leave your children. I don't know how much she can make fun of me. My daughter and son laughed when they heard my mother in law's comment. Look, even the children are laughing at you. What a pathetic mother! Well, it was actually the children themselves who said they would stay here, so I'm not leaving them. Oh, I see, I see. So you're a sad woman who was abandoned by her children. Well, you can say what you want, but don't forget that you're responsible for everything at home from now on. Ha! Don't worry about that. Unlike you, I'm good at everything. I see. Well, then, I really must be going now. With that, I left my parents in law's house. After that, I went back to my parents' house and threw myself into my work. Then I asked my work to switch me to full time work, and I took the test to become a full time employee. Thankfully, 
I was able to get a full time job. Now I can take the kids with me. And my mother in law must be exhausted by now. Sure enough, about three months after I left the house, my mother in law contacted me. Hey, Maria, help me out. What's wrong? I have to take my grandson Josh to and from his soccer team games, and I even have to help out at a training camp during the summer vacation. On top of that, I'm asked to make his lunchbox early in the morning for the morning practice. And I have to wash his dirty uniforms every day. My granddaughter Amy also goes to cram school every day, so I have to drive her back and forth. On top of that, I have to do the housework all by myself. Ken says he's tired from work and doesn't do anything to help me. Well, if you're just complaining, I'm hanging up now. Wait! I'm calling you because I want you to help me, Maria. Excuse me? I'm already divorced, so it doesn't concern me. Don't say that, please. No, I won't go back. But I understand that you're in a situation that you cannot handle by yourself. I cannot entrust my precious children to you. I will take the children. That's what they want to do. What? But they want to stay here. That's because they wanted you to understand how hard I was working. What? Yes, in fact, when I decided to get divorced, the first thing I did was to talk to the children. They said they would follow me right away. Amy, my daughter, said, But this means that grandmother and the others are just kicking you out, right, mom? Then my son said, I don't like that. We know how hard you work, mom. So the children said that they would stay home first and let their grandmother know what their mother had gone through. I was so happy that they were on my side. I made up my mind that I would make enough money so I can come to bring them home. Well, then. Yes, everything was according to our plan. I'm now a full time employee and I'll take the kids. Oh no! I then hired a lawyer and demanded that custody be transferred. The children wanted to live with me, so custody was easily transferred. When I reported the affair to the company, his boss was enraged to hear it. And my husband was transferred to a department where he would not be able to advance in his career. Because of this, he can no longer pay the mortgage on the house he currently lives in. My mother in law has been ordered to work as well. My ex mother in law is furious that her son is telling her what to do. My ex husband and ex mother in law are blaming on each other. They'll probably have to leave the house at this rate. Well, it's none of my business anymore. Meanwhile, I rented an apartment and moved in with my children. They are growing up to be wonderful children. My daughter cooks, and my son helps me with laundry and cleaning. I wanted to be able to support them to do whatever they want to do in the future, so I will continue to work hard and earn money. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you like. See you in the next video.